एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कार्बोहाइड्रेट डाइजेशन तो डाइट्री कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रिंसिपली कंसिस्ट ऑफ पॉलीसैक्राइड्स लाइक स्टार्च एंड ग्लाइकोजन देन डाइसैक्राइड्स लाइक सुक्रोस लैक्टोस एंड माल्टोस देन इट्स स्मॉल अमाउंट स्मॉल ऑफ सैक्राइड्स लाइक ग्लूकोस फ्रैक्टोस एंड पेंटोस so this carbohydrate digestion starts in the mouth so there there is uh, three steps digestion in mouth digestion in stomach and in small intestine first we will see digestion in mouth so digestion of carbohydrates begins in the mouth so in the mouth during mastication food comes in contact with saliva and the saliva contains an enzyme that is known as salivary amylase enzyme is salivary amylase or chialic this is a carbohydrate splitting enzyme it is also known as salivary alpha amylase because it is a it is an alpha amylase so it is salivary alpha amylase it is an endoglycosidase endoglycosidase which means it can cleave internal alpha 14 glycosidic linkage that's why the name endoglycosidase it can cleave internal alpha 14 glycosidic linkage This enzyme requires chloride ions for its activation, and its optimum pH is around six point seven. That is between six point six to six point eight. So, what is the action of this enzyme? This enzyme it hydrolyzes this alpha one four glycosidic linkage in polysaccharides like starch and glycogen. it hydrolyzes alpha 14 glycosidic linkage in polysaccharides like starch and glycogen and this hydrolysis produce smaller molecules like maltose maltotriose isomaltose etc so by the action of salivary amylase this polysaccharide starch and glycogen they are hydrolyzed to maltose maltose isomaltose and maltotriose so its optimum ph is around 6.7 then action of this enzyme will stop when the ph falls to 3 when the ph falls to 3 action of this enzyme will stop so that is digestion in stomach next step is the digestion in mouth next step is digestion in stomach digestion in the stomach so this action of salivary amylase salivary amylase that is in the mouth action of salivary amylase stops in mouth because of high acidity because of high acidity in stomach action of salivary amylase stops in the stomach in gastric juice there there is no carbohydrate splitting enzyme but by the action of hcl some dietary sucrose may be hydrolyzed to glucose and fructose that is the digestion in stomach that means in a gastric juice there is no carbohydrate splitting enzyme but by the action of hcl 
some dietary sucrose may be hydrolyzed to glucose and fructose and this action of salivary amylase will stop in stomach because of, because of this high acidity that is this digestion in the stomach. Next step is digestion in small intestine. Digestion in small intestine. Here two phases are there. First phase is digestion by pancreatic amylase. By pancreatic amylase. Second phase is digestion by intestinal brush border enzymes. By intestinal brush border enzymes that is the two phases in small intestine so first we will see uh, by digestion by pancreatic amylase so from stomach products of pro the products of digestion so we can say acidic chyme the acidic chyme it reaches the duodenum from stomach the acidic acidic chyme that is the product of digestion it reaches the duodenum so it stimulates duodenal mucosal cells and release two hormones these are secretin and cholecystokinin so from stomach this acidic chyme reaches the duodenum it stimulates duodenal mucosa cells and release two hormones that uh, these are secretin and cholecystokinin so what are the functions of this uh, these enzymes this uh, secretin stimulates pancreas it stimulates pancreas to release bicarbonate it stimulates pancreas to release bicarbonate and this cholecystokinin it stimulates pancreas to release an enzyme that is known as pancreatic alpha amylase pancreatic alpha amylase this pancreatic alpha amylase it is also an a carbohydrate splitting enzyme it is also a, 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 a carbohydrate splitting enzyme it is also a an alpha amylase that's why the name pancreatic alpha amylase this is also known as amylopsin amylopsin this uh, pancreatic alpha amylase it is similar to that of salivary alpha amylase it is similar to salivary alpha amylase and its uh, optimum ph is 7.1 like salivary amylase pancreatic amylase also requires chloride ions for its activity this enzyme also hydrolyzes alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage and this enzyme hydrolyzes starch and glycogen to a mixture of maltose, maltotriose, isomaltose and limit dextrin. Limit dextrin. So that is digestion by pancreatic amylase. So food from that is the products of digestion that is known as uh, this acidic chyme that will reach us the diod that will reach the duodenum it stimulates duodenal mucosal cells to release two hormones secretin and cholecystokinin this secretin stimulates pancreas to release bicarbonate but this uh, cholecystokinin stimulates pancreas to release an enzyme known as pancreatic alpha amylase this pancreatic alpha amylase it is another carbohydrate splitting enzyme similar to salivary alpha amylase it is also known as amylopsin optimum ph is 7.1 and it also requires chloride ion for its activity and it also hydrolyzes alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage and this enzyme hydrolyzes starch and glycogen to a mixture of maltose maltotriose isomaltose and limit dextrin that is the digestion by pancreatic amylase next is by digestion by intestinal brush border cells by intestinal brush border enzymes intestinal brush border enzymes 
Intestinal brush border enzymes also contain or these are uh, responsible for the final digestion. This intestinal brush border enzymes, these are responsible for the final digestion of carbohydrates. These enzymes are disaccharidases. Disaccharidases means it can convert disaccharides to monosaccharides. That is the name, that's why the name disaccharidases. It can convert disaccharides to monosaccharides. For example, lactase, maltase, isomaltase, sucrase, etc. Lactase means it is a beta galactosidase. Beta galactosidase, uh, as its name suggests, it can hydrolyze lactose to glucose and galactose. Lactose to glucose plus galactose. Lactase converts lactose to glucose and galactose. In the case of maltase, it catalyzes the hydrolyse of alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage between glucose units in maltose and liberates two glucose molecules. Maltose, to, maltase converts malt, maltose to two glucose molecules. Isomaltase, it hydrolyzes alpha 1,6 glycosidic linkage in isomaltose to two glucose molecules. But in the case of sucrase, it converts sucrose to glucose and fructose. The, so, these are disaccharides that can convert disaccharides to monosaccharides. Glucose galactose, here glucose fructose, two glucose, two glucose. So, all these complex dietary carbohydrates like starch, glycogen, then disaccharides, these are ultimately converted to simpler mo monosaccharides. And these simpler monosaccharides, these are then absorbed through the intestinal wall into the bloodstream. Into the bloodstream and these are transported to different cells in the body. So, this is the digestion, in, uh, digestion of carbohydrates. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.